Hey Taurus, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for your current situation. Um, any information you need, Taurus, you can find it in the description box down below. Uh, I do have personals open right now. It is a three question video reading. It is 2828. You get it within 48 hours. So everything is down in the description box if you're interested, of course. But we are going to go ahead and begin here for you, Taurus. See what we got going on in your current situation. This is for Taurus. <clears throat> got going on for Taurus current situation okay Taurus um, so I want you to keep in mind that this first part that we're pulling here is not a prediction all right it's more of like what's going on in the current energy we do have the eight of swords all right Jupiter and Gemini card here but you know when it comes to the eight of swords it can represent a very stuck energy or just kind of feeling stuck you know sometimes it can represent being trapped in your head trapped with your thoughts and you know it kind of keeping you in a little bit of a rut right so eight of swords energy being present here it might say that um, you know there are certain thoughts that you're having that are keeping you stuck that are limiting you so this could be um, maybe not being confident in yourself when it comes to something you want to achieve because you got to think eight of swords is a jupiter card right taurus so jupiter is growth expansion good luck good fortune and this is an air card swords card right swords represent the mind the intellect so she's got that blindfold on here so it's like if she can look within and shift these swords like she can shift her thoughts um into a new perspective, right? And it'll shift these swords in a way that will set her free. It'll cut these ties, right? Um, so it's all about looking within when the Eight of Swords shows up. But, you know, for some of you, I do feel like there's something external interfering here as well that's causing um, this kind of thought process here. I mean, the Hangman is showing up. This is another card of like a stuck energy. But you can see, and it's a card of like you know, it'll often show up for like self-sacrifice and things of that nature. And you can see that he's got the crown lit up right here. So, you know, as he sits in this stuck energy, he starts to tune in to a new perspective, a higher perspective here. And I think that's something that's going on with you as well, Taurus. I feel like you've been in this energy long enough. And there's something here that's about to stop this hamster wheel that's been going on in your head. Um, like something is about to wake you up is the energy that I get here. Seven of Wands, man, there's been a lot of resistance, I feel. There's been a lot of resistance. Um, some of you, you could even be in a situation where it's like you're realizing that... <clears throat> So, for example, if you've been, um, like, this could be a workplace situation, a living situation, uh, a connection that you're in, it just seems like the longer that something goes on, you're realizing, wow, it doesn't matter what I do, this person gets mad. They get upset. Um, so it really isn't me. It can't be me. You know, that's the energy that I fill you in here with the, um, with the, uh, hangman showing up. Cause it's like, you're, you're waking up to that. You know, you're tuning into that perspective here that like, oh, it's this person. They've got something wrong with them. You know, some of you, you could be in a connection here where a person's just kind of, um, gotten bored or whatever and they're not wanting to call it what it is and leave the connection because it's it's familiar right and um you know they do seem to get some sort of like i don't know what this would be i guess like an ego boost out of um you know controlling the situation i don't like how it feels taurus i don't um but yeah you know and they say that people can get uh aggressive if they don't like you anymore and that's kind of the energy that um i'm getting here and you know for a lot of you i feel like you never really liked this person you liked who they were pretending to be that's the energy that i get here now i will say for some of you this could be representing a connection that's been on hold and you've kind of been in your head about it uh something where you've like drifted from a person here seven of one some of you you could have this person blocked or they might have you blocked and it might be due to a relationship you know maybe this person got in a relationship with someone new and they felt it appropriate to block you or vice versa. You got in a relationship with someone new, felt it appropriate to block this individual. One of you around blocking each other is the energy that I feel here. Like that's what's going on. Like the world is showing up. There's a huge change in your situation here, Taurus, um, with that world. Like that represents a really big change happening, like something being totally different than it was before. And so the world fixed energy, by the way, for anybody who's curious, it's fixed energy. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Um, but yeah, this could be happening by, uh, because, you know, sometimes the world will represent uh, the world and the will of fortune. They can represent like a, a calendar cycle. So like, you know, 30 days or end of year type of energy here. So that could be the case here for some, um, like this could be something that happens by the end of the year or within, you know, the next 30 days. Um, but it's wild. I feel like it's like the situation is going to be totally different. I think you're, um, 
like restrictions are lifting here. I feel like your your blinders are coming off and you're seeing the situation for what it is. And either you're blocking this person or you're unblocking someone else. There's a restriction that is being lifted here. Like if this person is restrictive, obviously that's what's being shut out. Because um, if you'll notice, like the world is a Saturn card. You know, Saturn governs limitations, boundaries, restrictions, things like that. And I don't feel you being restricted here. I feel you restricting someone from restricting you. That's the energy that I get here. This wreath is surrounding her, protecting her. Um, all that greenery, all that growth. And then you see the red infinity symbols around the wreath there. That's why I say it's going to be totally different. Like um, that represents something that is like forever changed you know forever changed so really powerful energy that you got going on here exactly you got the eight of wands a shift and moving from the seven of wands to the eight of wands that's direct progression here um it's like that blockage is lifted and then there's a message and then there's a message, right? Um, I feel like this is coming from a fire sign for some of you, but it doesn't have to be. Some of you might be a Pisces, um, fixed energy with the world. But yeah, the Eight of Wands, I feel like not only is that a shift out of that restrictive energy, it's like, my goodness, you move from being so stuck. Yeah, you got two eights here, actually. You move from that Eight of Swords energy that we started with to this Eight of Wands, boom. Really fast movement, right? With the Eight of Wands showing up. So there's that message coming in for you. And then we have the four of wands here, laying down new roots, happy home, happy family. I feel like you're getting out of a very toxic, restrictive energy. And look at this, wands showing up back to back, the same suit showing up back to back. Okay, the eight plus the four. This could be within the next 12 days for some of you. In the next 12 days, this situation is going to shift. It's just going to, uh, you know, be turned on its head. Like that's the energy that I get here. It is very, very powerful, Taurus. Let's see what else we have for Taurus in regards to this current situation wild Taurus. Something just completely speeds up after you break out of this restrictive energy here. Four of Cups. Okay. Yeah. And I think that that's important to recognize, but I feel like a lot of you already know this. You know, when it comes to whoever it was that, was, that has been restricting you, in this current situation, once you close this cycle and get out of it, I feel like they're obviously not going to give up without a fight. They're thinking that it was so easy to control things in the first place that it can't be too hard to gain back that control. You know, that's the energy that I feel them in here. You got the emperor, exactly. But, you know, I like the emperor, but uh, in a reading like this, you know, honestly, showing up with that Four of Cups, I really feel like this person, it's them demanding something here. And, you know, the Emperor is someone who's very powerful. He's in charge. He's an authority figure. I feel like this person is trying to be in charge again and, you know, call the shots. And it's just not happening. I feel like a lot of you have a really strong support system, um, you know, in your energy that is protecting you. Three of Pentacles helping you. Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, okay? Um, you're building something new. This could even be one person here, but I feel like this is forward movement away from this person. And, you know, you could even have people around you who are like, Taurus doesn't want to talk to you. Stop bothering Taurus. They don't want to talk to you. Uh, they're not going to talk to you. Like, you're not getting back in touch with Taurus. They don't want anything to do with you. Stop. You know, that's the energy that I feel some of you in uh, or some people around you. Like, you know, it's like you don't even have to do it. People are doing it for you. They're, they're showing this person out for you like it's um because it's gotten that bad you know uh somebody's been really really toxic so that's what i'm seeing here taurus um a huge change here and that eight and four of wands like this could be very soon like i said the ones are the fastest moving energy like this could sometimes that can even represent hours but i won't go that far some of you it could be but um you know it could definitely be closer to like within the next 12 days if we're being more uh realistic about that okay so that's what i'm seeing here for you taurus i hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are below for anybody who's interested in personals. Like I said, it is a three question video read. It is 2828. You get it within 48 hours. All the information is down there, but if this is where we part, Taurus, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.